द कंप्लीट वर्क ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया एड्रेस बाय स्वामी विवेकानंद पार्ट थ्री माई आइडिया इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू ब्रिंग आउट द जेम्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी दैट आर स्टोर्ड अप इन आर बुक्स एंड इन द पोजेशन ऑफ अ फ्यू ओनली हिडन एज इट वर इन द मोनास्ट्रीज एंड इन द फॉरेस्ट टू ब्रिंग दम आउट to bring the knowledge out of them not only from the hands where it is hidden but from the still more inaccessible chest the language in it which it is preserved the incrustation of centuries of sanskrit words in one word i want to make them popular i want to bring out these ideas and let them be the common property of all of every man in india whether he knows the sanskrit language or not the great difficulty in our way is the sanskrit language the glorious language of ours and this difficulty cannot be removed until if it is possible the whole of our nation are good sanskrit scholars you will understand the difficulty when i tell you that i have been studying in this language all my life and yet every new book is new to me how much more difficult it would be for people who have never had the time to study the language thoroughly therefore the ideas must be taught in the language of the people and at the same time sanskrit education must go on along with it because the very sound of sanskrit words gives a prestige and a power and a strength to the race the attempts of the great ramanuja and of chaitanya and of kabir to raise the lower classes of india show that marvelous results were attained during the lifetimes of those great prophets yet the later failures have to be explained and cause shown as to why the effect of their teaching stopped almost within a century of the passing away of these great masters the secret is here they raised the lower classes they had all the wish that these should come up but they did not apply their energies to the spreading of the sanskrit language among the masses even the great buddha made one false step when he stopped the sanskrit language from being studied by the masses he wanted rapid and immediate results and translated and preached in the language of the day pali that was grand he spoke in the language of the people and the people understood him that was great it spread the ideas quickly and made them reach far and wide but along with that sanskrit ought to have been spread knowledge came but the prestige was not there culture was not there it is culture that withstands shocks not a simple mass of knowledge you can put a mass of knowledge into the world but that will not do it much good there must come culture into the blood we all know that in the modern times of nations which have masses of knowledge but what of them they are like tigers they are like savages because culture is not there knowledge is only skin deep as civilization is and a little scratch brings out the old savage such things happen this is the danger teach the masses in the vernaculars give them ideas they will get information but something more is necessary give them culture until you give them that there can be no permanence in the raised condition of the masses there will be another caste created having the advantage of the sanskrit language which will quickly get above the rest and rule them all the same the only safety i tell you men who belong to the lower caste class caste the only way to raise your condition is to study sanskrit and this fighting and writing and frothing against the higher castes is really in vain because it does no good and it creates fights and quarrels 
and this race unfortunately already divided he is going to be divided more and more the only way to bring about the leveling of caste is to appropriate the culture the education which is the strength of the higher caste that done you will have what you want in connection with this i want to discuss one question which has a particular bearing with regard to medoffs there is a theory that is called the race of mankind in southern india called dravidians entirely differing from another race in northern india called the aryans and that the south indian brahmins are the only aryans that came from the north the other men of the southern india belong to an entirely different caste and the race to those of southern india brahmins now i beg your pardon mr philo philo jujist this is entirely unfounded the only proof of this it is that there is a difference of language between the north and the south i do not see any other difference we are so many northern men here and i ask my european friends to pick out the northern and the southern men from this assembly where is the difference a little difference of language but the brahmins are a race that came here speaking the sanskrit language well then they took up the dravidian language and forgot their sanskrit why should not the other castes have done the same why should not all the other castes have not come one after the other from northern india taken up the dravidian language and so forgotten their own that is an argument working both ways do not believe in such silly things there may have been a dravidian people who vanished from here and the few who remained lived in forests and other places it is quite possible that the language may have been taken up but all these are aryans who came from the north the whole of india is aryan nothing else